What's up? This is HP going as Big Brown. Today, I'm going to show you how to do beginner support and attraction settings in Kira. So, to start out, you're going to want to click on the gear on supports. Then you got to scroll down. And you got to look for. No, not that one. Uh, want to look for support overhang angle. You want to look for. And you also want to look for support top distance and bottom distance. You could also use support Z distance. And then you're going to want to click enable support roof and floor. And then support floor thickness for both of those. And that is all. Alright, now you want to click this arrow, generate support. First, you gotta add a print in though. This is my own design of a car. It is my favorite and best design yet. Although it is a truck and not a car. And it was made by me, not anybody else. Don't let anybody tell you different because it was made by me. Not some kid in Colquay Middle School. Alright, so now you want to enable support floor and roof. And then you could check the thickness of this, but one millimeter should be good. You also want to open up quality where it says layer height 0.2 millimeters. That's going to be the thickness of your layers. That is also the unit that you're going to go by for the Z distance. So if you want to make more distance, you can't go up 0.1, you have to go up 0.2. So you could change this right now to 0.6. Or you could just keep it at 0.4. That should be a good distance for this. And you can also change where it is. If you want it just touching the build plate and not other parts of the print. Like maybe you don't want support here but you do want support here, you can do that. You can also change the support overhang angle. 45 is a good amount to have it at. You also can click here and click on layers to see the support. Okay, so as I was saying before, the support Z distance, that is this distance right here. From this, to this layer to this layer is 0.4 millimeter, millimeters. So, if I change that to one millimeter, you see that you can see that this is much thicker than it was before. But once again, 0.4 millimeters should be a good thickness or distance. 
and five. Now, the other thing you can do is support density. You can also So right now it's at 15 percent and you can also see this roof you can see how it's flat all around here but if you use this to go down a little it is not there now you see the zigzag support and then roof again so that is that and this is also where you can change where the support is like clicking on that you can get rid of this arch of support right here which is oftentimes not needed as you can see this is disappeared now but if we look at this shell, we should not need that support there because there are no overhangs that could droop. Too bad. This is going to go straight across. Another support you could use is called something like Make Overhangs Printable, which is... Alright, if you go into experimental, you can see make overhang printable. You can click on that. If you select make overhang printable, it will make this overhang, well, printable. Alright, so you can see this changed the design of this wheel well here, which made it so that it can be printed without supports. But as of now, we do not want that because it changes the design too much, so we're going to unselect that. So now we got all of our support settings, and they should be pretty good now. But we also we're going to want to change our traction settings a little bit, which will be in Alright, so if you go into material, you can find retraction settings. So you want to make sure you have enabled retraction. You're also going to want retraction distance. You can do retraction speed, but that should be good. And the other thing you're going to want to select is Retraction Prime, which is, alright, if you go into Material, you will find Retraction Extra Prime Amount. You're going to want to select that as well. Alright, now, going into Material. You're going to want to change your attraction distance, which should be good for now. But the other thing you're going to want to change is the attraction extra prime amount. You might want to up this. Uh, I typically go by uh, figuring out the size of my nozzle and timesing that by 2, which for you is 0.4. So if you do 0.8 millimeters that should work out pretty well and if that's too much you will notice because there will be blobs around in your print and then you can lower that but that should be good for the size nozzle and that is all for today oh, oh, oh.